This is the smallest keyboard I own, with exactly 44 keys. This is the new Epo Maker TH40, and it's a 40% wireless gasket mount keyboard. Let's open it up and check it out. Inside the box, you get the keyboard, of course, useful user manual, USB wireless doggle, USB C cable, switching keycap puller in one, and extra switches. The TH40 is a solid keyboard, and it's nice to see Epo Maker making a 40% keyboard. It's a clean, simple keyboard in nice lavender and dark magenta purple colors. It's not totally basic and it also has a strap rope simply for aesthetics. It's super portable, lightweight, and easy if you want to carry it around or travel. There are also two kickstands and four rubber feet on the back with a pretty cool wavy logo on the center. And on the top you have the USB-C port and a connection switch. I've never had a keyboard smaller than a 60% so this keyboard is definitely different for me and even for maybe some of you. You. Like it's so tiny and cute. You can just tell right away that there are no number keys, no number pad, or no arrow keys. Like, huh? How do you use this keyboard? I gotta say it took some time to get used to, but it's actually really functional. And it's nice for typing. One, you actually don't have to move your hands and reach keys like on a 75%, and you're able to keep your hands in one position at all times. It has a split spacebar with a function key in the middle, and something that I notice is that the slash or the question mark key is on the left side of the keyboard instead of the right. Pretty interesting how they moved it. Definitely something you have to get used to now. What's nice is that this keyboard is via programmable, which is really important in a small keyboard like this. It has four switchable layers, three of which are programmable, so you can customize every keystroke and remap keys to map the missing numbers or the F row keys. With the via, it's super easy to customize and you can experiment and play around on some layers until you find something that works with you. You can download the USB JSON file or the 2.4 GHz JSON file on EpoMaker's website. The TH40 also features a gasket structure with a flex cut PC plate, pour on play foam, an IXP switch pad, and bottom pour on foam. The keyboard also has three connection modes, Bluetooth 5.0, wired, and 2.4 GHz. To use Bluetooth, turn on the keyboard using the switch and then press and hold FN plus A, S, or D. You can use this keyboard with up to three Bluetooth devices. Since I'm only using my iPad, I'll hold FN plus A for Bluetooth. The light will start flashing, so go to your Bluetooth settings and connect it. If you want to use it with a receiver, turn the switch to the 2.4 GHz and then connect the receiver to your PC. It's so easy to connect. Plus, it also has a 3000 mAh battery capacity, so it can last you a long time. For the switches, you have two options here. Evil Maker Flamingo and Evil Maker Wisteria. And I have the Flamingos. And I gotta say, these sound incredible stock. They are linears with a force of 47 grams and a total travel of 3.8 millimeter. Both the switches and stabilizers are also finely pre-looped and super smooth. Let's do a typing test. This keyboard also has very vibrant RGB with south facing LEDs. There are many preset RGB effects so you don't need any software to change it. Let's check out all the effects.
Overall, by remapping the keys to suit my needs and work, I've been able to use this keyboard really well for writing, schoolwork, and even coding. It actually takes some time to get used to and learn like an instrument. Thank you Maker, for sending me this keyboard. If you want more information, I'll put a link in the description below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more uploads. Have a wonderful gaming day. Bye and I hope to see you on the next video.